in this VBA example, I'm going to go ahead and run this code so you can see what it does. Notice it sells A1, uh, A4, and C4 are selected. The active cell is C1, which means the cursor is actively in that cell, and of course B1 has content in it. Let's go ahead and run this code here that you see in the VBA module. I have it in the same window. So what you do is you go to the Run menu, then you go down to Run uh, Sub User Farm. I'm going to go ahead and run it so you can see what happens. Did you see what happens? The selection row selected uh, for the interior, which means the full cell color index, that folder, I uh, have it at 11, which is this dark navy blue. The active cell line is the third one where it says active cell where the uh, cursor is actively in. Uh, the interior color for that cell must be three, and that of course is red. The very uh, first one is range absolute B1 dot font uh, color index, that is the text color, not the uh, cell color, is six, and of course it's yellow. Now that we have shown you what the code does, I'm going to show you how to actually access the folders quickly. So let's back up. Okay, where well we're at range B1, we're going to type a period and notice what happens. The built-in uh, menu option comes up. I'm just going to start typing font, F-O-N, and notice how it pulls it up. And I'm going to double-click it, double-click, and it adds it. I'm going to uh, insert a period again. That's just nothing more than a folder path I'm calling on. The font has folders inside of it. I want the color index folder, so I'm going to double click it. Color index stands for the interior of the cell color. Now I'm going to do space, the equal symbol, I'm going to put a 6 there. And that's all there is to it. That's how you actually use uh, the VBA modules uh, built-in memory to actually write the codes for you. I have a few still slides so that we can go through this process again slowly. We're going to uh, add font color to whatever text is in cell D3. So we type in range, begin parentheses, quote D3, quote, which are the double quotes, close parentheses, type a period, and then uh, Microsoft uh, VBA module allows you to access its uh, library. Start typing the word font and it, it appears, double click it, it adds it there. Put another period and then the drop down menu comes up again. Choose color index, double click it, and it will appear in the cell. And then just type a space, the equal symbol, a space, and the number six. Here I filled out the selection dot font dot color index uh, space equal symbol space 8. This selection means that something needs to be selected. You can select one cell or multiple cells to be impacted by the code. For this case, however many cells I select um, is going to have a color index which means the cell color is going to be changed to whatever the number 8 will be. The active cell is the last one I'm going to do. It's another one where I'm showing you how you use the built-in library to actually write the path for you. Uh, path of the task for you. When you see these periods, they're nothing more than uh, subfolders in main folders. It's no different than writing out a file path for your hard drive or your A drive, your C drive, or using uh, you know URL paths for a particular web page. That's all that period is. It's just VBA's way of writing folders. The active cell means one particular cell that the cursor is in, the, the last cell that that cursor is sitting in before this code runs. And we're going to impact the cell itself, the interior, uh, and then choose color index, double click it, and then space, equal symbol, space, and then type 16. And now we're going to run the code by choosing run and running um, user form, uh, and then it executes and here is the result. You see cell B1 based upon this code here that I have. It uh, made the range within B1, the font color, this, uh, the, 
uh, 6, the color that equals 6 in the color pattern index. And so that's yellow. The second line, the selection, which means you can select one or multiple. I selected multiple cells. And as you can see here, B4 and C5 is selected in this uh, preview. And they are both navy blue. And that is the color for that 11. And the last one is active. Uh, cell, which means only one cell, wherever the cursor is at that moment, it was in D1. And so I said that color should be, for the index uh, interior of that cell, uh, the color should be 3, and that is equal to red. And that's what you see here.